You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing whether they're driving or parked the cyclists will have more control what do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic, I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicate something that you didn't see 
and I, for safety reasons, that I think, you know, I'd like to listen, I'd like to bike and listen to music too. But if you're going to do that, I think you should do that in a park. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? People should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi. I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay. Good evening, Mona. How are you? Hey, good evening, teacher. Uh, I feel good. Thank you. Yeah, you ready for the weekend? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Do you have any plans? Mm, no, no. Um, for a while, no, I don't have any plans. No. Maybe until tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yes. We have to work. Ah, yes. Always. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our life is always working. Yes. And Mori, do you work on Saturdays? 
Yes, teacher, I work from uh, Tuesday on Saturday because my day off are um, Sunday and Monday. Oh, That's yes. Nice. At least you have Monday off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. Relax in a stressful day. Mm -hmm. And are you, the only, are you the only person that speaks English in your house? Uh, Uh, teacher, repeat it again. The, the question. Yes, I Please. said. Are you are you the only person that speaks English in your house? Mm, okay, I live in a big um, in a big space, right? And that space we have three houses. In one of the house, <laughs> I live my my, uh, my nephew nephew. And he is speak English. He he works in a call center too. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't speak together, right? No. <laughs> Only not? because uh, he say my English is so basic. Uh, and as he works in a English uh, account. I think that he is pretty well than me, I think. Okay, okay. And yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another, no, here, no, only my nephew and I. That's it. And now I'm going to to help to my daughter. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes. How old is your daughter? She is about three years old. Oh, it's very young. Yeah, it's very young. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Well, More, I see you are the only person that is here today. I don't know what happened. Every it's already a little late. It's almost 8 10. So yes, it's my mm. second time only teacher in, in me. Uh, mm -hmm. When I was studying a long, 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 long time ago, it happened, but presential, right? And it happened, and I didn't anything about English, and I only, yes, no, no, yes. No, now I can, uh, um, I know more the last time, yeah. <laughs> but it's my second time, only my teacher and my person. <laughs> yeah, but I'm surprised. I don't know why why the other people are not connected today because mm -hmm. it's not it's not uh it's not raining there's no problems so a little strange yes uh, maybe they i don't know i don't know <laughs> maybe they didn't finish the homework could be that's no, what i, I didn't think. finish it. <laughs> that's what i think i think that they are in there like i know the book the presentation mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. Yes, it's very fun. In my case, for example, um, if I study uh one by one by one in another, it, it's sometimes confused in my case, and uh, I try to be spontaneous. I mm -hmm. try to be, and I know, I know, uh, I know uh, some new vocabulary vocabulary but I, my problem is that i don't practice i don't practice and i would like to speak as you or fast or or normal as a native english speaker when i stay alone i try to speak alone and and i feel and i or oh, i speak well i sound well but when I speak in front of you and in front of my classmate, I feel nervous, or maybe I have some doubt on my uh, my my pronunciation. Okay, and you say you don't you don't practice, and so you don't practice in your job or outside or with anybody only. In mm, class. I practice reading. I practice reading, Liri. The song because I like, I like, I like English. I like, but I don't know why I don't break the ice 
because I would like to to um, demonstrate that I can, right? Mm -hmm. Another another week, another week my myself is maybe because I have never had the opportunity to speak with a native uh, speaker. Okay. American people, right? Right. And yeah. I don't know if I'm going to understand because uh, I don't. They have a lot of a lot of um contraction, slang, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe they say um the one way, and I know the another way, then I don't understand. And I sometimes confuse, or my maybe my accent is not a tool. And all of this, I thought, and I say, no, it's difficult, sometimes it's difficult. But I'm trying, always I'm trying, trying to know and try to learn and try to read. And, you know, the situation in our life is difficult because we study, uh, we working. Um, we uh, we are multitasking, right? And that's why sometimes we don't have too much time for any reason of the, our life. Um, maybe uh, we start to we start to study. Uh, uh, well, not young, a little. Um, okay, maybe thirty years. Right. Um, that's why I'm going to to teach to my baby English early, early. Okay. And tell me, More, what is your objective with English? Uh, what do you imagine in one year? What do you imagine uh, when you finish the English courses with uh, Inglés Corporativo? Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to continue finish this course. I would like. Mm -hmm. I love. I love to study English. I love. Um, I could like to to have somebody to speak and put in practice all of my ability in these languages because I know I know a little a little word, but sometimes I don't know, or maybe because I don't practice, but I'm I forget. I forgot, and um, that is the always my my what my my stone, right? My my stone. But I would like to speak with any with with any um or maybe I I, I would like to speak uh, that maybe express well, maybe um. They understand what I say. Um, I try to to say everything for this way, but if somebody not understand, I try to mention basic, right? For another way, I try to do like that. But I, my resolution is, um, speak very well. Okay, and uh, but why do you want to speak very well? Do you want to work in English? Do you want to get a job as a teacher in English? And do you want to immigrate? Why do you want to speak English? For everything, well? for everything, for everything in this, in this, in this, uh, in this uh, way, because I like it. I like it. I like to listen to music in English. Sometimes if I have, if I have, if I'm going to have the opportunity to teach it, I'm, I'm going to do. It, that is for, um, for myself. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't to, to go to United States or another place as a white people. No, I don't like it because it's dangerous. Mm. I consider that to live here in El Salvador, we have a good life. Always, if you prepare, if you have a good conscience, uh, if you have good plans, resolution, you can get live here very well. It doesn't matter if you go out. 
could be, could be, and I would like to travel to visit it, to know any place or whatever place. Um, but it's not my dreams. It's not my dreams. Okay. Uh, I, I, I would like. Well, I like I like to share with my family. If I came working for speaking English, well, for me it's good. It's not bad. Okay, we are more money. We have to live better. Yeah, it's not it's not bad to think like that. Yeah, but no, no for for the for maybe I'm going to. To travel or maybe go as wet people no I don't like it that it's dangerous <laughs> it is it's very dangerous actually mm -hmm. yes and uh, to go as illegal illegal and uh, yes illegal no and imagine in some of cases happen with uh, another person is very tremendous when we you know, listen some news about immigrants, about ladies, about child children, um, no, it's not good. It's not good. Yes, I think that is very hard. Um, it's but it, and not only for for us to go to the U.S. but any immigrant, uh, Venezuelans, Costa Ricans. Colombia, any immigrant to go to another country is is difficult because you see, for example, the Venezuelans, they go to Colombia. And for them, the life is difficult in Colombia. They the Colombians don't want Venezuelans. And is the is the reality. Uh, imagine in Salvador. In Salvador, we have sometimes Guatemalan for the situation in Guatemala. And they come to El Salvador. And many Salvadorans say, no, no, they take our jobs. Is the same mentality the Americans? No, no, they take our jobs. So yes, it's a little hard. Hello, yeah. Alba. How are you? Welcome. I see you're connected a little bit later, but how are you? Uh, I'm fine. A little tired because I just arrived from from my job, but but here I am. What time do you finish working, Alba? Uh, I finish like seven, but the traffic. The traffic is difficult. Yes, it's a little bit difficult. Mm, uh, when it's raining, it's, it's worse. more difficult. <laughs> yes. Do you live close yeah. to your job, Alba? I'm sorry, what? Do you live close to your job? Mm. More or less, uh, definitely uh, there are people that live uh, far away of, of the office, but I I pick up my mom when I get out of my job, so I I have to to do other 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 route so um, we how how can i say we take another way okay <sighs> that's why i like to work at home mm -hmm. now it's very easy because you finish close the yeah, computer and open another computer and that's it right um for me, it's good to work at home. I save money, I save time, I feel comfortable. Uh, I feel a little bit free, <laughs> a little bit free. But stuck in the traffic is very um, stressful. And when I, for example, I receive these classes. When I lost one class, I feel no good. Because, because uh, one, responsibility. Two, I like it. Three, I feel lost after finish the class, right? And no, it's, it's very, it's, it's terrible, right? 
terrible. Mm -hmm. That's correct, terrible. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I like, that's why I like to give this class too from home because like Alba, it, I think I work from home so I don't have traffic. So mm -hmm. normally like Alba is one hour in traffic. For me is one hour making money. I am not in traffic. <laughs> it's, so it's the same. The people say, I know you work. Just, but it's the same because if if I didn't work from home, I would be in traffic. And in traffic is the same one hour, but I don't make money. Yeah, yeah. At least in my case, this in my case. Imagine I start my shift at night at night a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to San Salvador first. I grab at 4 a.m. I'm going to San Salvador at 6 a.m. And then and I arrive to San Salvador at 8 30 a.m. And I start my shift at 9 a.m. Okay, oh, wow. I work all, all day, right? And I finish at 7 p.m. And then if I'm going to take a bus, I arrive to my I arrive to my house at 10 p.m. Imagine the traffic in the constitution was very terrible. And so it's not good for me to go to go work out because all day I have to be out. Yes. Yeah, it's 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 very tired for me. That's mm -hmm. why I prefer to work here and I get up at 8 a.m. Yes, and I go to bed 9 p.m. Now uh, yeah, 9 p.m. or 9 30. But it's not a I have a big, a big um yeah, be change. Yes, mm -hmm. natural, very relaxed and rested. Imagine, imagine, stay here. I'm going. I try to do some overtime too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benefit for me. It's benefit. Yes, but yeah. For you, Alba, do you have to work extra hours in your job? Do you have to do overtime, Alba? Hmm. Uh, sometimes I I I do overtime, but it's not paid. Oh, no! You you work extra work. You have extra work. Mm -hmm. yeah. work. For free. For free. Mm. Sadly, yeah. it's free. <laughs> and the problem is not the extra work. The problem is no money and more traffic. Yes, because. Uh, so we uh, our skill is to uh, Monday to Friday but sometimes they they told us that we need to go Saturday because we didn't finish or or we need to to prepare reports or something like that and is is sad <laughs> because uh, we need our job and you're worried your salary. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we we need. <laughs> we we need the money, huh? In uh -huh. the end, yeah. Yes. In the end, is just the the problem is that in El Salvador. There are so many people and not enough jobs. So when the people say, I, if you don't like, you can leave. Yeah. And it's the yeah. reality. The reality, there are more people that want the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, well, let's get started. I think is we waited a long time for other people to connect. And today, only Morena and you, Alba. That's it. So yeah. we're going to start with. Yeah, it's good because I'm going to speak more. That's I'm, uh, That's I'm right. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready, More? Are you ready with my story? Yes. Okay, I'm. I'm trying. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Um. Uh, uh, let me introduce my story. It's about change. Uh, change all of the people we have changed because it's necessary. Okay. Uh, my story is about uh, 
a young lady has exper experienced a lot of change in her life. Um, first of all, she had a, a, kale, a kitty, but uh, the cat, the cat had, uh, bueno, she felt sad because the cat lost. He, she never, she never saw uh, his cat and she felt sad. This is the one experiment that she feel in her short life. And another uh, situation with um, the young girl is when her best boy, uh, no, her best friend, Robin, changed the house. And he lived very far away at her house. And they never, they never, uh, we never see it again because Robin, Robin lives in the mountain and it's necessary to use an airplane to visit it. And the uh, young girl uh, can't, can't visit it. And she say that a change is part of the life and she experiment uh, all, of, all of change because she had to grow up. Meanwhile, she had to grow up. She experiment different situation in her life, and with her Katie, she she was very um sad. Uh, but the but her father tell tell her that she buy a new one, a new one car. But she always she always means her Katie. First, Katie, and the another change that she su suffer or process when she go to new high school, and she felt strange because she she didn't know any anybody. Can I say anybody? Yes, but the surprise was when the classmate close to her. And they going to start speak, and they going to they going they going to be her friends. And then uh, she look for the mirror, and she experiments some change in her face, and she talk, she expressed that she looked like a pumpkin because uh, he lost first he, two, two. And she thought about it again, changes, and I continue changing my life. I continue having this situation. And I consider that all of the people we are going to change in our life because uh, we can live at the same time. We have to live with some stage um in another in another um change for her is a uh, because she shared more with her aunt because her mother has to work from downtown and her mother arrived to her house um so late uh, and she uh, experiment that situation, I say, because uh, she only tried to be positive for for every change that comes from to her life. Thank you it's very all. much, Morena. Alba, do you have any questions for Morena? Um, the the history is. It's about the changes that she is experimenting. Yes. Uh, it, it's a, it's a little girl. Yes, it's a baby. It's a little girl, young girl. Mm, the, I think the, the part when she said about Robbie who lives in the mountain is, it's interesting. Robbie in who is Robbie? Her friend. Her friend. Robin was living near to her house. 
but uh, she is he over moved. what he moved yeah he moment. moved from uh -huh, yes they live in a city but you know in the united states i consider that it's in the united states right uh, the united states has a two four four um four places i i would like to say places um but divide for mountain city and maybe different sun and Robin was living in, in mountain sun uh, and the the part when she lost her cat uh, is sad because when she get a new one but always miss uh, the the previous one yes it's I that and it's I have, that, but... uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry i have a, a little cat and i don't know if i lost her i would be really sad and to get another one it would be really difficult yes all depend how much how much is your love for the animal right mm -hmm. i don't know because it's different a person when you have an animal you can reply for another animal i think i don't know uh -huh. but in a person you can reply for anybody and it's difficult because i i say this generation love a lot of uh, it has a lot of love for the animal this is good it's good because one people had a feeling for them, right? And sometimes the animal reaction, but with her, um, with her, um, I, I don't remember the, se, no me acuerdo como es que se le llama, intuition, no sé. Intuition, uh -huh, intuition. Yes, but it's sad for, for the, the young lady because he lost her car in Katie, Katie. Okay, all right. Well, very interesting, Mori. Thank you so much. And Alba for asking the questions. Very Yes, fun. and I like because in my case, I I always experiment different change because uh, I was working in a factory. In a factory, they, um, they, they have a, a group of cells cell cellulas cells cell, yes. cell right each cell has as 10 person to work as a ant out but imagine you as you the people the people has you uh one style for teacher teacher imagine you the next the next day the next day you're going to change the style of the teacher and they say you have to leave with change they say the process they say you have to leave change because the car of the changes is passing for the for the sidewalk always the the, the bosses say like that como que el carrito los cambios está presente así que uno tiene que adapt Mama. Okay, so the changes are are obligation in the company. Yes, obligation and difficult sometimes because it just you uh it's use coser you say you so 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 okay if you saw a binet this year it's difficult it's difficult than the the around the around the redondo circle neck. around circle neck round mm -hmm. neck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right, Alba. Are you ready to give your presentation? Yes. Okay, Alba. Okay. The book I, I pick up, pick it up yesterday was The Mystery of Cinnamon Bone. Uh, the history starts with a little girl that is in her house on Saturday and she and her dad has like a routine because they always, the Saturdays, they always go to the bakery 
to buy uh, cinnamon bone. And this Saturday was like all, all the other ones uh, move on their bikes. And when they arrived to the bakery, uh, the surprise was that there, there were not a single cinnamon bone because uh, someone has had, had bought them and that was never happened before. So they decided to investigate why this happened and they asked to the to the baker, baker I think, uh, who bought them and he, he told them that uh, the person who bought the cinnamon boom uh, went out of the of the store a minute ago and was was uh, riding a, as a black scooter. Uh, they follow this clue, this clue, asking around and. If someone had seen this person, uh, they they travel a, a little bit, like two or, or three streets, and and they were asking if someone had seen this person. Uh, they finally found out uh, the the black scooter was parking was parking, and there was a party. Finally, they found out that the, the her teacher uh, was the person who bought the cinnamon bone, but she she gave them as a gift to them, and she was happy at the end because she she ate the, her favorite cinnamon bone. And uh, that's the finish of the final of the story. <laughs> Thank you, Alba. Thank you very much. More, do you have any questions for Alba? Mm, the, uh, let me know the name of your story. The Mystery of Cinnamon Bone. Cinnamon Bone. Oh. It's a strange name. <laughs> it's for the it's for the bread. The uh -huh. one is the is the name. I mm -hmm. was I, I was trying to imagine it in my in my head. How is it? I always I always remember the, the cinnamon but the pizza hut. <laughs> ah yes, yes, it's uh -huh. similar. But the okay. pizza hut is very small. And okay. the cinnamon and the normal cinnamon bun is is like this. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's the same idea. It's the same. Only ah, okay. hot is small. It's like a, it's like snacks. It's like a little snack. Uh, but the I wasn't cinnamon, very. Big. I wasn't sure if I listen well cinnamon bone. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's it's interesting. Okay, Alba, do you like cinnamon cinnamon buns? Yes, but I I think I. I didn't do that. No. I, because mm -hmm. I, if there is no more in the bakery, I would buy another bread, like, I don't know, a, a piece of cake or something else. But, <laughs> but, but I not, uh, not follow that. What happened, the mystery, huh? No. I think I would lose my time and. And people will think that why is she doing that? Okay. <laughs> there is another bakery, maybe, or or I would buy another day. Mm -hmm. And Alba, how did they find the cinnamon buns? How did they discover who had the cinnamon buns? Ah, uh, because uh, um, that was a um, little bit intrusive i think because they 
they go go in at the party and they were not invited in the history. But the history did not say the name or the person who who, who took the cinnamon bone. It was the uh, the teacher. It was a teacher of of hers. Well, they know they know her, but it was her party, and <laughs> they were not invited. When when she saw them, she gave them a cinnamon bonbon, <laughs> but I think it's not correct. Okay. She said she was maybe scared. And she said, I know. Uh, here. <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that because uh, it was a her party and she was wearing her her guest. Mm -hmm. Okay. But All right. They were not invited. So <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a kind of strange story. <laughs> and Alba, crazy story. <laughs> crazy story, huh? But it's happened. It happened. Some of person, maybe they say they do with the article. Yes. Uh, have you ever gone to a party that you were not invited? Mm. No. No. And you, More? No. Have you ever gone to a no. party that you were not invited? Um, no, I have never going to a party. A party if I don't invite me. No. No. No, teacher. Okay. Because if you see the American movies, in American movies, it's very common. You see the, the, the topic to, to go into the wedding and you don't know and and the people Some, go to the wedding. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the party was in on the street or maybe on a, on a properly house, but they say uh, all of these people are invited for my party tonight. They say the invitation are loud, right? And everybody have to go if they want. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, uh, mm -hmm. I think the in the United States sometimes is that uh, is so much people, so many people that uh, nobody know that wasn't invited, and they just go go in and nobody asks if was or not, but is because. The, it depends of the kind of party and the the quantity. Mm -hmm. But it's you know is I think it's for the culture, because in El Salvador we say I know, go to a party that you are not invited, no, but in the U.S. the people go to parties. Hey, it's my friend's party. I don't know, but hey, vamos no. Okay, let's go. And the people go to the party or oh look. It's a wedding and they go to the wedding. Oh, look, it's a sweet 15, quinceañera. Let's go. And, and the people go and that's it. And they experiment a lot of things in the party. And mm -hmm. because always I, well, only on the movie I see, I watch, but mm -hmm. always they, they um, make some, some, something. They drink a lot of alcohol or maybe um, cannabis. <laughs> Always they are are very carefree. Mm -hmm. But it depends because I I remember I had a friend who liked to go to the parties not invited. Mm -hmm. They like to go to the parties. They go not only they go with with his he went with his girlfriend and the two would go to the party. And the idea was they go to the party, they drink, they eat, they dance, and they say, hey, and I put $20 and I give to the and I give to them and for $20 and I eat and I drink and I party. And it's it's okay for me, it's okay for them. Yes. And I think, 
Wow. But is what Alba says. There are so many people that if someone give you a gift in your party, in the wedding, you don't know, but, oh, okay, thank you. And you don't kick out, but, no sé quién es, pero me dio un regalo. And then you have, and then the person stay and eat and, and drink for free. Yes. But I think, I think more than culture is the personality. Is the personality because I, I don't know me. I, I don't know if I if I can go to a party and just ah I here is the party, let me go. And no, if I feel embarrassed, imagine the person say, Who are you? Why I why are you here? And I we it could be happy in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. But you know, I had I am going to tell you an anecdote. No a party. But once I went to a funeral and I went to the funeral and I did not know the person. I didn't know the person. I, I entered the funeral and I thought because I didn't you, you when you go to the to the funeral houses, uh, the big ones, they have la sala, el salon, the, the different the different rooms, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so I entered and in I remember my my friend said, no, go in the the first door on the left. Ah, okay. And I entered the first door on the left. And I sit down and I look. And a lot of people, a lot of people in the funeral. But I, I, I sat and I don't know. And I look. No, no conozco a nadie. What? And I looking around. And then one person. I saw the person. I said, oh, hello, hello. And, and then, ah, okay. Then I think, okay, maybe yes, maybe it's the correct funeral. <laughs> so I stand up, I say, ta ta ta, hello, eh, so sorry, the situation, ta ta ta, the same, the same eh, conversation. Oh, and I went to the front to pay my respects. I went uh -huh. to the front to see the body. Hello. I didn't know. I didn't know the <laughs> person. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad and I say, well, and the, and the other people saw me and I said, okay, ta, ta, ta. And I left and I went and it's not the first door on the left, it's the first door on the right. And then I went to the other funeral. What? Ah. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yes. That's why it was very embarrassing and it's only by accident, but I don't imagine planning to go I don't imagine planning to go and I don't know. So imagine by accident and I embarrassed and now going in the person and you, how do you know? Where do you know? It's, it's a little, it's not normal. No, that situation, that situation happened when you received the first class in the university. Maybe yeah. because maybe they, they gave the same class, but in the different section or different teacher. And maybe you're confused. It's happening and you feel, because you, um, when you assist to university, you have your friend, the last subject before. And you know, hey, I, I had a description with my old classmate, but I, I, I won't see anybody that my old class. And, one feels very lost and embarrassed too. Yes, it's correct because in university there are many classes, <laughs> many, many classes. And and sometimes they make the change in the last moment and then you don't know. Yes. You, you but they're wrong to too. Uh -huh. And it's not your class and you are uh and you you go for one class, you go for English and it's mechanic and you what? I what? And uh-huh. Completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's okay. All right. And, and More, eh, Alba was talking about cinnamon, but this is for dessert. Do, do you have a favorite dessert, Morena? In my case, mm, I love the... Um, 
paper is paper is no because I like it. I like it different, right? And and one especially no, I don't how, but I like um chocolate chocolate uh, dessert. Mm -hmm. I like um ice cream dessert. I like um. I don't know. It's not dessert, but it's bread. I love, I love it, bread. <laughs> and cinnamon love too. Okay, okay. And for you, Alba, do you have a favorite dessert? A favorite dessert, maybe. Uh, I can pick one, just one. <laughs> it depends on my my. Mm, my mood it depends on my mood but my my favorite maybe is a, a cheesecake or a pudding but it is it, it has to be really sweet really sweet yes okay and uh, um, and, and the cheesecake and the pudding you you eat and you drink with coffee or with coffee and like to clean my mouth i i i don't put sugar to my coffee because the dessert is very sweet and yes okay. i make uh, the the happy dance when i eat that <laughs> okay okay mm. and what cheesecake do you like alba strawberry natural and um, I don't know blueberry or what cheesecake do you like? The traditional is my favorite, but the the I I taste one that was so it said that was strawberry, I think. Mm -hmm. But I prefer the traditional. Mm -hmm. okay good well in this moment we're going to watch the video to have our introduction for unit five on monday okay. we're going to begin unit five but today we're going to watch the introduction a little okay. bit of what we're going to learn okay you're about to watch the very last video of this course we hope you enjoy them we suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right. right, that's the nature, the human nature. 
What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic, I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicate something that you didn't see and I, for safety reasons that I think you know I'd like to listen I'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're gonna do that I think you should do that in a park what advice do you have for cyclists in the city people should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening what advice would you give people who are cycling with children I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, Drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So, <clears throat> as you can see, our topic for next week is going to be giving recommendations, talking about different topics and what you can, can't do, but using the words, for example, should, shouldn't, need to, must. We're going to learn how to give recommendations for different situations. But this was only a little warm up for us to understand and be prepared for next week. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for doing your homework and having your presentations. And okay. see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.